joining us now. They pulled up on us. Cal McNair and Hannah McNair. How y'all doing? I think I know the answer. <laughs> well, we're doing good. Glad to be here with you guys. What y'all got going on this weekend? Uh, just a little, <laughs> just a little home game. Inviting a few friends over. Uh, yeah, and you got uh, uh, your, your house is going to be full, so to speak. I, I hear it's a sellout. Got a sell sellout. Just announced that a couple hours ago. And that's got to feel really, really good because it's. Let's just be honest. It's been a while. Well, it has been a while. This year, the fans have been coming back, and uh, they've been loud. They've been loud, and they've been a big part of um, of the of the game and and uh, affecting the game and getting the other team to jump off sides and all those things that a great fan base, our great fan base, does. And they're right back into it this year. But it's going to another level on Saturday. So we're encouraging everyone to come on in the house and be loud early. Uh, not not to hog, but no, there's, hog there's, it, there's a logical hog there's it. a logical follow up here for me. Uh, we all saw. D'Amico Ryan's kind of reflective moment, and it was pretty damn cool to see. How'd y'all, how'd y'all handle that? When, I, I, and, and again, we're just being honest. You guys know we're always we we were harsh about this team, and and you know that. And Very. now, and, and now, and now, but you forgave me. Uh, yeah, but, and, I think some of it. Is, I mean, I think you can do that. I think if you're willing to dish it, you got to be also willing to take it and. To and go to the other side, which is where we are now. And so that was my point. After the last three years, each of you, because I know you both are your own personalities here. How how did that sink in? The getting there again. Um, just really grateful, you know, grateful to be back there, and um, and so happy for the players that all the work they put in showed up on the field, and you know, just happy for them and for them to experience that. Mm -hmm. That we heck we had we've had a pretty good run, you know since 2011 we've won a number of these things. But this is a this is a seven. This is a young roster and they haven't experienced that. To, so to have them experience that and have our fans back in that mode is just really really um, gratifying. How about you? I'm really thankful. Um, I think there's a video of how I felt. Yeah, you threw sure. up the I threw up the horns. Screenshots <laughs> after the game about 200 texts. Um, Really thankful, really thankful that we're here, really thankful that, um, you know, God led us in the right direction with all the hires, and um, really thankful that Cal's been steady and stayed the course and not let any of the outside noise deter him from what he knew his he wanted the plan to be, and um, I think that's where, and I'm, I mean, really emotional. I was hard in my feelings mm -hmm. uh, for about two days on adrenaline. Um, I think we went to bed right before five o'clock <laughs> oh, on Sunday morning because we just were yeah you're so you're, you're, you're amped up. We could do this for you know our fellow Houstonians. We're both born and raised here. John, I know you feel <coughs> hard about you know Houston sports um, and really passionate about it as we are. I don't know about how Ron feels. I don't know if he cheers for us or Kansas City Chiefs. And I also don't know Ooh. how Clint feels because I think he's a Cowboys fan. So, like, if we play them, who do they cheer for? <laughs> well, you might have the opportunity to ask them that. Yeah, I'm going to. Uh, Ron right there. We, hey, Ron. Uh, we leave the uh, stadium and head, you know, to our transportation. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we'll get a call or two. First one was from Mom. She had watched the game, and oh, she was just so, so excited uh, for for the team and her fans and her town Houston to be and the other one was Andre Johnson called us and he was just yeah. really excited on FaceTime he, he FaceTimed us <laughs> okay. right yeah. so on it's the just airplane <laughs> really fun to former uh, Colt Andre Johnson yeah that's the double whammy right there <laughs> and Titan, <laughs> and Titan. Does, he, does he acknowledge that no god no, no. <laughs> he didn't claim that he didn't, he didn't claim that either <laughs> Cal and Hannah McNair right home. <laughs> uh, with us here on in the loop is it hard for y'all because um it seems like there's there's fans. Uh, the social media is having their fun. It, it seems like like through all this, like regardless of what was said, whether it was valid or not, y'all have done a pretty good job of not really addressing it, not not you know talking talking du during it. And now that this has happened, Hannah, you especially, is it is it hard to not go back in time and kind of clap after after having the discipline to kind of just be quiet when maybe you didn't want to? It's always hard to be. <laughs> Which what subject are you referring? Well, I'm just to? talking about anything like the, like whether it's whether it's the 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 criticism or just of, losing like or anything whatever, yeah. like losing. And, and I think I think there was some unfair criticism that y'all 
that y'all endured. I think there was a lot of fair criticism, which we talked about. But I mean, like, I remember Stephen A. Smith said, no black coach should take the Texans job. And I thought it was it was really weird. And then the other day he says they lucked into D'Amico Ryans. I don't know how that works out, but it just seems it, it just seemed like it would be like of, of all the criticism y'all got. You, you you take it on the chin, and then all of a sudden, when the success happens, is it hard to not like go back and visit that clap back at him a little bit? It? Yeah. Oh, that clap back. Yeah. Um. Well, it was an overnight success. I mean, don't you just, know? <laughs> but it was you know several years in the making. You know, we've been hard at it for several years. The results didn't show up on the field. You are what your record is. We recognize that. But there were a lot of things changing. You know, before this year, mm-hmm. certainly, and um, yeah. to see it show up on the field. We're just happy to be here where, where we are right now. So I, I don't, you know, we, we don't really look back in time that we've talked to you all about that. We look yeah, forward. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that's really our, our focus. How, how forward do you nice look? to be looking, at, looking how, ahead to Saturday. How forward do you look? Because our first, uh, you know, Lopez was reflection uh, in the first segment. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, man, screw that. They, they can beat Cleveland. They got, they got a winnable <laughs> game. Let's stop, look stop, ahead. Stop, we stop can stop reflect. Talking. I'm like really superstitious. So just don't look. <laughs> No, I'm focused on the game. I'm focused on the game. He wants to look back. I'm focused on the game. I got my eye on the prize. But I will say that, you know, a lot of times it's easy on the outside, as everybody knows. You you know, nobody really knows what's going on on the inside. And that's okay as long as you're confident in what where you're going and you do have a plan in place. You Mm -hmm. don't need to explain it because, you know, you have to just stay the course with what you truly believe. And with people coming and going and going, um, uh, that was, you know, a part of it. And I think now that we've got all the right people in the building, I think that it's just really exciting. And looking back, it's kind of like you can laugh at some of the comments, right? Like they're right. so far off base <laughs> right. that you just, you just kind of go, okay. And y'all want to look forward and look yeah, back, and okay. I just want to sit here in the present <laughs> yeah. and enjoy. Yeah, that's, uh, these, that's what these I was days telling you. Up to the game just kind of washing over you, let it let that. it happen. Look, look let me ask you this though: as much as you're not looking back very often, there was something of a, uh, a, a not revenge tour, but a, a celebratory tour in, in, in Tennessee. So I got a question for you, Hannah. What's what what's your favorite kind of broom? Uh, a push broom, a whisk broom, or a Swiffer? Case Keenum. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hometown hero it's hard for you not to say things sometimes yeah. isn't it yeah it's gotta be <laughs> this is why i'm not on social media <laughs> <laughs> i'm i'm worried though because you're obviously aware of social media i told lopez oh, yeah. i was like i'm worried about hannah and he's like what do you mean i was like i'll tell her when she gets here i'm worried about you becoming the target of every time the texans lose like you're the, you're the you're the person that they're like 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 saying you know we're sticking it to hannah we're sticking it to yeah. hannah because you get so you so pumped up you ready for that smoke it's okay it's okay i'll take the blame just let the guys work let them do their thing i'll take the heat uh, no, 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 no! I get to take the heat. Nope. She, she doesn't do anything. No, wrong. Uh, she wants to smoke. No, here's she the wants thing. to smoke. <laughs> here's she wants the thing. to smoke. Though. Cal does. Cal does take the most heat. There's yeah. no question yes. about yes. that. Yes. Let's keep it that way. All right. Let me ask you this now. A little football related stuff that isn't always the the, the most pleasant uh, uh, conversation, but I call it the winning tax. Like when you win, your coaches start getting recruited. Yeah. Maybe even a report is out there about your general manager. Like, Which is false. Uh, we understand that. <laughs> Lopez is going Mike Florio. No, with this, no, no, with no, this no. We understand that it's false. He said as much. But to me, that's a good thing. Yeah, Amy, Amy Adams. I, I feel like she's going to hire slow. Let them worry about that. We'll we'll enjoy our success and the things that come with it. You know, we also that's what I'm talking. Like, like, how, what's your lower res- draft pick? Right, right. Lower draft pick. Coaches being recruited. Coaches being recorded, et cetera. We have a coaches all across the league that have been started here Mm -hmm. so it's really fun to watch them succeed in other places is really a good thing for us it's a good sign yeah uh, for sure it's it's a good problem to have uh hannah do you play board games with your kids or anything like that because i i I feel like that's a that's a christmas fight if i've ever seen one yeah so growing up monopoly caused a lot of fights in my family you like that game it's too long yeah but you bring your money to like you put it do you cheat do you cheat a thousand percent. I was the banker, and I always won. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. But I mean, like we we I had my best friend Shayna who lived across the street from me. We would have Monopoly games that would last a week, and she'd take her money home. We'd all take our money to our beds. Like, okay, that's how competitive we are. So you yeah. have thrown the board before? Because I've seen your kids throwing uh, on the sidelines, and they 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 don't look like they're not they're going to go down lightly. No, the competitive gene is strong in our family. 
I will True. say. And I don't like to let anyone win. So I make them earn it. <laughs> It's They're good. very competitive on, you know, the fields. None of them have iPhones, so none of my kids are what? on their phones. Well, they got flip phones or just no, no phones? No phones. What? What? They are legit. No phone. Everything. No phones. How old are they? 13, uh, almost oh. 12. Almost when are they getting one? Uh, probably when they're in a car. They Some people go by that. I just feel that's a, that's a, man, tough, that's no a tough battle these days, man. It is a tough battle, yeah. but you got a strong... <laughs> just say no just, just say, say no. no that's all you gotta do there's just too much especially you know with their brains developing at that time that's yeah like, you know. cal uh what do you expect to to to, to have uh, on saturday afternoon from when it comes to the crowd some of the things going on we've seen uh, the halftime has been announced we've seen the sellout has been announced we got to talk about this game from your perspective uh well i can't wait we're also going to have the commissioner come oh nice so oh wow be, yeah, yeah. You know, we're getting some national attention, which is really fun, and it'll be interesting to see the schedule come out when it does in the spring and see what it looks like. But um, no, I'm looking forward to a, a loud crowd. I'm looking forward to the guys playing and executing at a high level mm-hmm. in, a, in a really competitive game. The Cleveland's a good team. Uh, Flacco uh, beat us up pretty good last time, and uh, we're going to have to do, do play better. Got a good uh, halftime show going on. Oh, wh- how did y'all watch the Jags game? Oh my gosh! Oh, because you're in. What What did y'all do? Yeah, watch my little. Was it hard for y'all to root TV. for the Titans? Oh, yeah, people no. are like you have a forty inch TV. <laughs> was, it, no. what, was it hard for y'all to root for the Titans? Like no. of all people, because some, no, some that was rooting for us. Thank it's you. Hard to root for them when it's rooting. for You us. didn't feel a little bit. Eh, I'm rooting for the Titans. I mean, no. I think DeAndre Hopkins. I mean, you're, you're cheering for yourself. His whole team. Yeah, but Hoff you're cheering really for yourself. Nice I mean, yeah. if, I, if I felt any sort of way, I'm always ultimately the Houston fan and want Houston to get the top seed. So, no, we were – well, my sister laughs because Cal was sitting there very still at the end of the game when we just realized we just won the AFC South. Is Cal – Cal, are you – are you a – I got I to gotta move – if things are not going well, I got to sit in another chair, move well. Are you just no no superstition, no nothing? Well, I wouldn't say no superstition, but I, I'll sit there and watch. And that's it. Yeah, I don't have to get up and. <laughs> How about I, I, you? I, did I run a marathon? In she the, ran a marathon. In what? The living room, like practice. Oh, I thought you actually ran a real marathon. Was, Lopez is getting back I into jogging. I did like ten push-ups at one point. I don't know. You did, did push-ups ups? between breaks. I, I just I, energy, a lot nervous energy. energy. Yeah. Yeah. Division titles. How about that? They, they, they are very, very fun, for sure. We went into it, and I thought Tennessee's going to have a chance here. Oh, we, we talked we about did it. Too. We did, too. We did, too. here. Yeah. We did, too. John McClain had to give me $100 because I, I took the field. He took uh, the Jags to win the division, so I, I took some of John McClain's money. He had to give me $100 did on Tuesday. not support his old team? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I thought he would have bet on the Titans, but, yeah. There you go. <laughs> And uh, we appreciate you. You really do have a hard time, don't you? (laughs) I mean, if I can. Yeah, exactly. We appreciate y'all for coming.